Hello. Uh, so I've been working on a project where I've had to, ideally I wanted to use a stroke, a trim path, uh, to bring in a fill. But obviously that doesn't work as we all know. So I've got a kind of a workaround to help uh, trim paths work with fills. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll, it does make a, a, a massive difference uh, in, in what we're doing. So I've got a fill here. So I've just drawn a fill. Um, and what I've done on top of it, I've drawn a stroke. So you can see here, there's just three points to the stroke. Uh, and I'm sure you all know what a trim path is, because you would be here otherwise, but I shall add it in here. Uh, trim path, we shall do, and uh, let's go zero, and we shall bring it in. It's here, so hopefully, oh, my gosh, what does this? There we go, make it a little bit um, longer. There we go. Right, so what we do is to make this work and to be into the shape, the shape below, we are going to go to effects and presets, we're going to go to set mat, and let's pop this on the stroke, and we will tell to get the uh, from fill, and we'll disable the uh, Fill. So let um, me just bring it in here. So there we go. Is and that is a, a trim path on a fill. As you, you can see, it's not a hundred percent perfect. Because ideally, you want to have this, uh, you know, a bit more, a bit smoother. But uh, I've had to get rid of this opening keyframe actually. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it, it, it might get you by, it might hopefully help. If it does help, please subscribe, because every time I find these workarounds, I try and put it on YouTube. Uh, so if it's helpful, please uh, subscribe. And if you have any other um, hints on, on this to make it better, is leave some comments, and I'll, I'll hopefully go to try and maybe update the video. Okay, okay then. Right. Cheers. Bye.